Hello and welcome back to Focus Atlanta again. I am your host, Keisha Lanslin. Thanks so much for continuing to watch. In this segment, we're going to talk a little bit about something that I know we're all a little concerned about, and it is that holiday weight gain. Well, I'm here with Dr. Rabia De La Torre, and she's saying that it doesn't have to be that way. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So what are you telling your patients about this time of year? The most important message, I think, is to remember that one day, one meal is not going to make or break you, right? Even if you see a few extra pounds on the scale the next day, a lot of that can be water and from salt retention. And so it's really important to know that one meal, one day is not going to radically change your weight. Um, it's very, very difficult to do that. And in addition to that, the best thing you can do to try and limit the amount of calories you take in is to fill your plate up with vegetables and as much fiber as possible because it will actually make you feel fuller sooner and you'll eat less of the foods that you may want to try more, but you'll be too full to really eat all of it. Oh, okay. Now see, when you say it like that, it makes it sound completely doable. All we, all we need is, is you in our life, you in our back pocket to be whispering in our ear, to whisper in our ear. <laughs> um, are there little things that we could do, you know, little tips along the way like those um, that we could do while we're gearing up for, you know, the new year and, and for things like that, that we feel that pressure, like, you know, all that food and all those things in front of us. Are there any more little tips? Pick a smaller plate. If you're really struggling with something that looks amazing and everyone's trying it, ask for a smaller plate or a smaller portion. That way you'll be able to try the foods that everyone else is eating. A lot of us are social eaters and especially during the holidays, it can be difficult to say no, but ask for half a glass smaller plate, smaller sizes of actual serving dishes will result in you eating less food. Most of the time, obviously there's exceptions to that, but you know, it's your job to try to limit the amount of food you're taking in. If you really want to try that thing, that dessert, that, you know, fried food, whatever it is, but you know, trying your best to keep a regimen, not only of the meals that you're eating, but also your exercise routine is very important. So if you're someone who likes to exercise a few times a week, but you're going to be on vacation and it's difficult, figure out a way, go for a walk, ask someone who you're on vacation with to go with you and make it a social thing or part of your actual routine. Oh, that's a fantastic idea because again, that was gonna be, you You knew what I was gonna ask, you know, what happens after the holidays, after we've tasted that dessert that we hadn't tasted in months or after we've, you know, had those foods that we've been avoiding, how do we, you know, avoid falling completely off of the, the bandwagon in terms of our health, in terms of our eating habits? So I'm not a big fan of New Year's resolutions per se. I'm more along the lines of let's create changes that are sustainable and will last a long time, even the rest of our lives, ideally, right? So if you feel like, you know, you you ate things and you did things during the holidays that caused you to gain weight, that's reversible. It will take a lot of work, especially as we age and we get older, our metabolisms change, but it is doable. And think about it this way, as we age, the amount of work it takes to simply maintain our weight, not even lose weight, but maintain our weight goes up. So you can imagine it's going to be double, even triple the work to lose that weight. So keep that in mind, you know, as you're ingesting stuff during the holidays, that this will require work later. But if you're willing to put in that work, I don't think that there's anything wrong with, you know, having a chance to indulge one or two times during the holidays, because after all, it is a happy time. A lot of people are spending time with loved ones. And so it's hard to say no all the time and be perfect. So give yourself some grace. Oh, now that that is fantastic advice. Give, a, give ourselves a little grace. Thank you so much for coming on the show and making this seem doable. So often it seems so, you know, overwhelming when we're thinking about the holidays and we've been dieting and we're trying to do this and that and this. Um, but to your point, the small things matter. If we can just maintain the small things, we're on our way to in the right direction. Absolutely. Give yourself grace. No one's perfect. No one should expect you to be perfect and just try your best. But know that if you do something now, you might have to work a little harder later. So if you're willing to do that, then it should all be fine. But bake that into your overall lifestyle so that it's not something that you're com repeatedly putting Band-Aids on to fix smaller issues. Create a lifestyle plan that you can sustain for the rest of your life. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for coming on the show today. Likewise, thank you so much. All right, guys.
Dr. De La Torre says we can do this. So we can do this. Take the opportunity to learn a little bit more about ways, small ways that you can, you know, sustain a healthier lifestyle. We've had her, her website up there. Take the opportunity to visit and learn more. And stay tuned for more Focus Atlanta. We'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you.